So this afternoon I'm here in Made For You by Madeline. It's a new bakery in the city in Hamilton that's just opened a few weeks ago. Two weeks ago you had your grand opening. Yeah. And uh, Joy, is the, Joy is the owner um, and she's joining me today to talk a little bit about experimentation and a discussion actually of one of my students' projects. Let's talk about baking in the context of your day-to-day -day work here in your bakery, Joy. Have you experienced baking products where you're altering more than one variable at a time in order to achieve a certain goal? Oh yes, definitely. Definitely. Um, every time we uh, decide we want to, um, you know, have a, a product that has a certain quality, uh, whether it's, you know, softness or sweetness, um, uh, something like that, uh, we try to change something and then we often have to compensate in another area to uh, to achieve that. Okay. So an example would be, uh, for example, a cookie like an oatmeal cookie yeah. or a molasses cookie, but say for example an oatmeal cookie. Um, if you wanted a sweeter cookie, you might say, well, I'll just add more sugar. The thing is that sugar helps uh, products to brown more. So they caramelize and uh, have other chemical reactions, so they, they tend to brown more quickly. So one thing we would say is if we increase the sugar, we would say, well, we better check a little sooner to see if they're done. Because okay. they'll be browner, they'll be crisper, they may burn, so you would have to uh, definitely compensate. Well, so that's, that's, yeah, that's two, two things that you're looking at the same time. So uh, sugar amount and baking time. And you, what your objective then is to create something that tastes the same. So if you altered sugar, you would very baking time as well in order to get the same outcome. Well, it wouldn't be then to, the outcome wouldn't be for taste. You would be altering the sugar because you wanted a sweeter cookie, okay. but to get the similar look, so it wouldn't be, or a look that you would want, you know, you would want to, suppose you had baked a cookie um, that had a certain look to it, and you liked the look of the cookie, yeah. but you said, you know, I just wanted a little sweeter, so I'll just put more sugar in. Well, if you baked it for the same amount of time, uh, well, what happened was it would be sweeter, however, it would also be darker. So you would say to yourself, well, is this acceptable to me that it's darker, or do I still want to have it as light as it was before I put that okay. much sugar? Then you might say, I'll underbake it a little bit. You know, commercial baking, what sort of outcome variables are you looking at? I would imagine that taste and appearance are two of them, but would there be others? I would say so. Um, as far as uh, other variables, we definitely look at shelf life, perishability, especially because all our uh, ingredients are natural. We aren't using a preserved example. We use buttermilk a lot in our um, in our product because there's an acidity there that helps to keep from staling, oh, okay. uh, which a lot of people don't know. So a lot of the older recipes you'll see will have buttermilk or sour cream, something that uh, has a keeping quality that gives a tenderness to the crumb. Oh, great. So that's a little tip at home. If you see a recipe that has milk and you see another recipe that has buttermilk, you can probably guess that three days later, the one with the buttermilk is still going to be a little more tender. Nice. That's a good guess, a little practical hint. Nice. So, um, so there's that. Uh, as to your point about appearance and taste, I think some of that is subjective. Particularly with taste, I mean, you know, some people have a real sweet tooth and some people don't. <laughs> you have a sweet tooth. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, that's why you're hanging out with me. <laughs> okay, um, but um, it's for um, the average, I guess, North American uh, perception, they say that it's about 20% sweet is about right. Sort of the sort of general, you'll perceive it without being too cloying and it's not going to be too bland. However, that's still uh, open to a huge range of personal preference. Uh, salt, uh, similarly, you generally perceive it about 2%, seems about right, not too salty, but you'll perceive it as about what you might like it to be. Yeah, so that's, okay. uh, that's taste. And as far as appearance, uh, professionally speaking, there are um, you know, desirable things in whatever product that you're making. And uh, you know, there, there are certainly, um, in professional contests, you, know, you, you get judged on all these different things. Right. So you could look up any number of um, criteria for any, any product you would like to make. I don't know where people uh, get their ideas about uh, what food should look like, but some of it's memory and some of it's emotion. And I think um, texture plays a lot into food, more than people think. Right. So uh, I often consider that as much as flavor when I'm baking. Have you had situations where in your work you've used any form of experimentation to troubleshoot a problem? Something has changed and now it's not working out right. So you're using experimentation, mm -hmm. what I would say, and, and term for learning about your system a bit more thoroughly. Yes, absolutely, it does happen quite a lot. Okay, a very straightforward example would be right now, it's uh, coming on to summer, and you can feel it's very warm in here. Yeah. There are certainly factors that change butter melts faster. So how much are you gonna whip something up? It's gonna whip up much faster. So when you said, you know, uh, you know, mix your sugar and your butter, maybe you previously you might have whipped it at a higher speed for a longer time, and now you'd say, well, I'll start the butter colder, and with it for a shorter amount of time because the temperature is going to come up faster. Right. So there's certain things that you just kind of, 
intuitively start to compensate for. And so um, it's interesting that you're asking the question because it makes me think about something like that that right. becomes second nature over time because you know what you're looking for. And then, as I said with the, the example of the warm butter, it's like you intuitively compensate maybe in more than one direction. Right. Yeah. Great. Thank you very much, Joy. You're welcome. Thanks for coming over. <laughs> Thank you.